What's up, Cancer? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance. And I'm back with another series for you guys. Now, this series is for the month of March, 2020. And we're going to call this one, The Lies They Tell and the Secrets They Keep. So, I'm just bringing that little tea for you guys, just so I can keep you guys entertained in between love readings. But, um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. And let's get into you guys' video. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below and let's get into you guys' video. All right, let me go ahead and charge in this deck, the clarifying deck. But we will be asking for the astrological sign of Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2020. And what better time to do this while we are in Mercury retrograde? People are coming back. Some are coming back with lies. Some are coming back still holding on to secrets, holding stuff back. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I was drinking coffee. But um, some are coming back, holding back secrets and telling lies. So we're going to try to find out who exactly is around you at this time. Cancer, some more as in a Venus that may be in the energy of deception and secrecy. Okay. What can people who okay? The signs are already with you. Now, this has been common. This is the second. Well, this is only the this is the second out of third reading that I've done where the signs are already there. So the thing is, is that spirit is saying at this time, use your discernment because you are already basically starting to see fishiness, a funniness as to what it is. That you need to be careful for glamour intrigue and drama so what i'm getting from this is that this person can definitely be full of drama wherever they go drama may follow okay maybe they attract drama maybe they are the drama and i feel like you wouldn't even be able to tell by looking at them i feel like they are all about their looks their outer appearance and um like i said drama so, yeah, whatever is aesthetically pleasing to the eye may not be as beautiful on the inside as what I'm seeing here. The angel of alchemy is miracle. And then, honestly, what's the secret? Maybe you maybe you left this person behind already. I'm not sure. We'll find out. But cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. It is looking like maybe... Dealing with this particular person could have been a blessing in disguise. And this you miss someone could be someone you missing you. Who knows? So, the signs are already with you. Can we clarify that? The cancer, sun, moon, and rising for the month of March 2020. For the lies they tell and the secrets that they keep. What are the signs are already with you? Ooh. Yeah, somebody definitely coming forth with a love offer. And it's sincere because it ain't in reverse. So let's see exactly what this is all about. Let me get more spirit. Mm -hmm. I feel like you anxious about taking it though. Like you're not comfortable. There's a need for you to get out of a feeling of defeat. I feel like you're on your last leg with, with whoever this is that's still coming forth with an offer. Or maybe they on their last leg with you. I feel like they let their guards down. They coming to give you an offer because they find you to be quite intriguing here. You know? They find you to be beautiful. They find you to be sexy. They find you to be very empowered. But maybe this is that somebody that's full of drama even though they're beautiful as hell, you know? But I feel like somebody really had a lot of anxiety about doing this. And, but they let their guards down despite how they normally feel about letting their guards down around people. Why is the glamour, intrigue, and drama here? For Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. <clears throat> Why is glamour, intrigue, and drama here? Ooh. Okay, so yeah, it's a lot of toxic energy surrounding. Surrounding either the person that's making the offer or the person that's being made an offer to. Or this person could be a Capricorn. Um, but there, there was silence between you and this person, I feel. 
And they might have been anxious about coming back forward, but they like, you know what? I can't be feeling defeated. I can't be feeling scared. If I really want to get back my queen of wands, then I'm going to have to let my guard down, break the silence, and express my emotional dissatisfaction. Ever since our relationship, friendship, or the dynamic of this, Union has turned into something more toxic. Why is the uh who the angel of alchemy here? The secret is is that this person loves you. All right, this person it this don't even have to be a toxic dynamic. Honestly, I feel like this can be a literal person that's intrigued by you. Maybe they feel like you are a dream come true. You know, like you a miracle in their life. Honestly, because there's too many good cards here. So this can be somebody coming to you to express something top, like something else toxic that's going on in their life. And nines are here. So they at the end of a cycle is what I'm seeing here. They feeling anxious, defeated, you know, dissatisfied emotionally. But they find a new solace in you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You know, this could be a Pisces, a Capricorn. Um... But whoever this person is, they got a huge cup of love that they want to gift you with. They really do. And it's running over. Can I get more from Miracle? Yeah, I feel like you turned this person around for the better. So they could be leaving behind somebody that's a lot of drama. Or trying to. Because there's a sense of somebody needing to heal here. But somebody holding on. Somebody wanting to get away from something that's... Really, really toxic and petty and move towards something that's more solid. We got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles so far. This person can be coming to you as a friend, you know, and but just wanting more. So that's the real secret behind this is that this person may be coming to you for advice, but what they're not telling you is that they really find true love in you. They find you to be healing to their heart, their psyche. They, You seem to be like one of the most stable people, whether that's stable-minded, stable emotions. Yeah, just stable. Maybe this person thinks or dreams about having a home with you. Okay. Why is the... Yeah. You fit this person's expectations. And honestly, they wonder if they, if you, if they fit yours. But it's looking like you do, Cancer. And they do to you as well. Because it's looking like you guys will have a lot of growth and fruition in this union here. Why is the nine of wands in reverse? Yeah, this person is hiding how they feel. Um, this is the type of person that it take a while for them to let their guard down. Simply because, you know, like I said, they was in defeated energy in the past. So maybe they always in a position where people don't appreciate their love. They could have been dealing with somebody that was really, really immature, you know. Or maybe if they was dealing with you before and they trying to come back, they were immature and now they trying to boss up. I don't even want to take that because I don't know how it feel. I feel like somebody is anxious about actually proposing to me. I mean, not to me, but this is what I see. Somebody is anxious about proposing. They want to put an end to this toxic thing that they have going on here, Cancer. So I don't know if you the person that's in a toxic situation, but I feel like it's the person that uh, is coming towards you. And I feel like, again, this person has feelings for you. They ain't telling you, but they do. Why is the four of wands here? Yes, this person sees marriage and love with you, honey. Look at this. The four of wands, the ace of cups. You know, stability, love, marriage. You know, healing. I feel like it's a lot of transparency. There's no secrets other than the fact that they love you. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Something is telling me you like the best thing that ever happened to this person, to be honest. They willing to put in the work, do whatever it takes. They gonna be loyal to you. I feel like this person is a hard worker, period. And that's something that they probably expressed to you. Why is the Nine of Cups here in reverse? Yeah. So, it's the, the, here's the thing is that the thing that they're leaving behind is very destructive. I feel like 
I feel like outside sources are were able to come in and kind of dismantle that. And that's one thing that that person doesn't like. And that's why they are so loyal or they coming off as so loyal and wanting to change. Like they want to become a brand new person for you, Cancer. That's crazy. Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's literally enough speaking to stability here. I already got the four of wands. I got the house. I got the house twice, I feel, here. Yes, I do. Okay, so could this be more clear? Um, cancer, sun, moon, and rising. That this person wants to live with you. That they see themselves living in, under the same roof as you. is That's probably something they fantasize about or you do. Why is the three of swords here in reverse? <clears throat> Why is the three of swords here in reverse? Mm-hmm. Somebody wasted their time, stole their heart, stomped on it, didn't appreciate it. It's a lot of defeated energy or just the energy of feeling like somebody wasn't appreciated here. And now they turn into you. And, you know, you could just, you could have just literally started off as like a good friend to this person or whatever is what I'm really seeing here, especially with the page of cups at the bottom of the deck. But what I'm also seeing is that this person feels more and they haven't let that be known yet. So that's actually the secret that they keep in here, which is not so bad. Can I get more guidance for cancer? Sun, moon, and rising. They got a lot of passion for you too. Even though a lot of emotion came up, this person can be a fire sign as well. Have fire heavily aspected in their charts. Whatever the case is, Cancer, it's looking good. <clears throat> so continue to help your friend heal. And if it turns into a love situation, wonderful, okay? All right, so try. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, like, share, subscribe, join the Soul Tribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.